Hey guys, John V from Phone Mini here. You're watching our video review of the Nokia Lumia 635. This phone should look familiar to some of you folks. That's because it's a slight variant of the 630 before it, but the Lumia 635 now packs along 4G LTE connectivity, and it's gonna be one of the first devices sold here in the US with the Windows Phone 8.1 out of the box. The design isn't anything astounding or new just because it looks identical to the Lumia 630 before it. We like referring to it as a humble design. It's compact, made of plastic, decent construction, and there's just a little bit of personalization just because you can remove the back cover and exchange it with any of the colorful ones that they offer. It has the same display as the Lumia 630, so that's a 4.5 inch 480x854 IPS LCD display with Nokia's clear black anti-reflection filter. It's not the sharpest thing just because we can sometimes make out some pixels and when you're using the web browser, you're gonna have to do a lot of pinch zooming just because text can be sometimes garbled. Surprisingly though, for its price point at all, the display is very visible outdoors even when the sun is present. The colors it produces have a punchy tone to them and it maintains decent viewing angles. Around the back we have a 5 megapixel autofocus camera which features an f2.4 aperture lens and 720p video recording. We're prying off the plastic casing around the edges of the phone. We're given access to its 1830 milliamp hour battery, its SIM slot, and a micro SD card slot. One notable thing about the Lumia 635 is that it's one of the first devices stateside to be commercially sold with Windows Phone 8.1 out of the box. The visuals haven't changed as much. It's more about the features. So with the start screen, you still have the same dynamic live tiles. There's some personalization just because you could adjust the size of them and placement. Microsoft, however, has added a whole lot of features with the Windows Phone 8.1 experience. The biggest one of them is the Action Center, which is basically where all the notifications populate. And on top of that, we have access to some connectivity functions. If you don't know it already, Cortana is Microsoft's personal digital assistant service. So it's competing against Siri and Google now. So it's voice activated, so you can do things such as, what's the weather like? Right now, it's 76 and partly cloudy. Windows Phone 8.1 now allows us to add a wallpaper to the start screen. So as we're scrolling, you can see the wallpaper in the background dynamically moving, but it doesn't extend to the listing of apps. Overall, we gotta commend Microsoft for doing a really good job with Windows Phone 8.1. It really shows the maturity of the platform while still maintaining the distinctive look of Windows Phone. Armed with a quad-core 1.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor with 512 megabytes of RAM, we do notice that it's not quite as snappy compared to some other Windows phones. For basic things, it suffices, but for more processor-intensive stuff like gaming, you're going to definitely see a stutter with its performance. Unlike the Lumia 630 before it, the 635 here benefits by having a 4G LTE radio, so you can expect to get really fast page loads. The music player here is a familiar one, it's just like any other Windows phone. And flip it to rear, we have just a single speaker. The volume output is good, but it just sounds a little bit reserved with its overall quality. Even though it's not the peppiest thing with its performance, when it comes to watching videos, the handset does a decent job as it maintains a pretty good responsiveness with the playback. As I've said already, the handset features a 5 megapixel autofocus camera, the same one found in the 630. Unfortunately, there are no improvements with the overall quality. We're not saying it's terrible, still more than usable, but we were expecting just a little bit better results this time around. You get average looking details, but colors seem to be rather off. Our biggest complaint about the 720p video recording quality is that it's just lacking with the details, very soft with that, and doesn't have good dynamics. Though it does offer continuous autofocus, which is very quick within its adjustment, and their overall recording is fairly smooth. Call quality is surprisingly good with the Lumia 635 just because the earpiece and speakerphone volumes are very ample. Even in noisy environments, we didn't have much of an issue hearing our callers. And voice on both ends of the line came out to be pretty clear and audible. 
Battery life is outstanding with the handset. It manages to produce over nine hours of battery life in our battery benchmark test. And everyday usage, we got close to two days of normal usage. It's not a powerhouse, but you get a fair amount of value out of the Lumia 635. That's because you could pick up the handset for the promotional price of $100 through Metro PCS, or if you're a T-Mobile subscriber, you could fetch it for only $168. With that kind of pricing, you can't go wrong picking up the Nokia Lumia 635, especially if you're on a budget. So if you guys want to learn more about the Nokia Lumia 635, you could check out our website, PhoneRena.com. It's John V. Thanks for watching.